Hey y'all, Jasmine here, founder of the Modest Movement Ministry and Entertaining God Magazine. And I just wanted to share with you my story of how I was not raised to wear pants and do a lot of fancy things that we do today. Um, so since I can remember at my church, since I was three years old, we were raised to not wear pants. We were raised to not wear jewelry. We were raised to uh, not wear makeup. We were raised to not color our hair, not to wear weave in our hair unless you had like a hair condition. Um, and we were raised to just, you know, do the dresses and the skirts. Um, did I say color nail polish? We couldn't wear color nail polish either. And so, honestly, <laughs> when people would see me in school, um, in middle school, um, they would always have the question, why can't you wear pants? Why are you always wearing a dress or a skirt? Are you Muslim? Like, no, I'm Christian. And what kind of church you go to? Well, my church just didn't, the women don't dress like that. You know, they really upheld the standard of modesty to the T. Like, very, very, very. So, like, if you read First Peter 3 through 4, three through four, first Peter three, three through four, it says that women are to um, not adorn themselves outwardly, not to focus on the uh, braiding of the hair and wearing jewelry and buying really fancy clothes, but we are to focus on our inner beauty and um, having a gentle and quiet spirit that is more precious to God. And so the church of God really upheld this standard that we are not supposed to focus on our outer beauty and it's not that god doesn't want us to be beautiful he knows he made us beautiful he just knows that there is idolatry that comes with it and if you look around today we worship makeup we worship our appearance and how we need to look um to keep up with the celebrities um contouring it's, t it's millions of makeup videos but there are not so many videos about your spiritual growth as a woman and so that's how i was raised and honestly how i feel about that now me dressing like this like me in the picture with the skirt on i feel the most beautiful like this there's no makeup on my face there's no jewelry my hair is my natural hair my nails are um long and pretty on their own um I feel the most beautiful like this. I feel the most feminine. And I'm not saying that women, all women need to do this. Like I'm not here to condemn anybody for what they do. Cause I wear pants now. Um, and sometimes I wear makeup when I'm filming. I'm an actress, I'm a model. Um, but now it's at a place where I don't idolize that. Because I was raised that way, I don't see that as something I need to do to have a man's attention. I don't see that as something that has to be done to seek the glory of man. And that is, I believe, why God put that scripture in there. It's in uh, 1 Timothy 2 and 9, and then it's 1 Peter 3, 3 through 4, about women um, not focusing on the outward appearance, dressing modestly, dressing appropriate as for women professing godliness. And so I strongly believe in this. I'm not here to enforce that on anybody. The Modest Movement Ministry is not here to be legalistic, to tell a woman what she's going to wear, what she needs to wear. Although a godly woman does need to have some type of conviction and how she carries herself. But the Modest Movement Ministry, I honestly believe God put this uh, ministry in my heart in 2015 because he knows that there's idolatry there's covetousness when it comes to our appearance we literally worship makeup we worship how we need to look in this world we we're giving the glory to man and creation and we're not giving it to god the one who created all things the one who made all things beautiful and so that is my story i wanted to share that with you all um Stay tuned to the Modest Movement Ministry dot com. Modest Movement dot com. I always get my website's URLs wrong. It's Modest Movement dot com where um, you can read more about, you know, the ministry and have some blog posts up there. And we just want to help women focus on the spiritual growth and not so much on the appearance. And not only that, it's also standing against sexual objectification that happens a lot because of our appearance. And so that's it. I want you guys to stay tuned and God is doing amazing things and I'm just excited and uh, leave your comments below and make sure you subscribe to our email list as well at modestmovement.com. God bless.